Hello and welcome everyone into another video. Today I'll be presenting a weapons guide for the behemoth and also I'll host a big giveaway of 200 ardent behemoths. Ardent Behemoth is a cool looking special edition bot and one of top 3 meta bots right now. I like calling it a mini titan since it holds a high amount of HP and highest amount of firepower among all other regular robots. Firstly, I will get into my weapons guide for it and then share details and rules for the giveaway after that. The weapons guide will be in a different format. As you know, there are 4 different tiers of weapons. I will pick 1 top weapon choice for tier 1, tier 2, tier 3 and 3 top weapon choices for tier 4. I decided to try this format since some of you that will win the behemoth might be in lower leagues and decide to go for a more budget option. I hope you like this format and the idea behind this for helping majority of the watching audience. Alright, now let's get right into it. My topic for tier 1 would be Thunder. This is a starting weapon with cheap upgrade prices and perfect stats for a tier 1 weapon. When upgraded enough, this weapon packs a serious punch in close ranges. It is optimally used below 150 meters. Once emptied, it has a long reload so make sure every shot you do counts. A Thunder Behemoth with level 10 weapons can take out a level 10 Leo with a total of 4 shots. And you upgrade 4 Thunders to level 10 with 41 million silver in 14 days. Just a quick info on its stats for those interested. Coming to tier 2, my weapon pick here would be the Avenger. Just like the Thunder, it possesses a high amount of burst DPS but sustained DPS as well. It is optimally used below 250 meters. Make sure you have enough cover around because with Avenger you'll have to wait 10 seconds without firing for its reload. My top pick for tier 3 is Ember. It holds a high amount of firepower with a relatively decent unload and reload time. Ember bypasses both physical and blue energy shields and it has splash radius of 7 meters. Its disadvantage is its firing mechanics which make it hard hitting fast targets further they are. Thus it is best used as close to the target as possible. Thanks to its splash damage it's a great counter to enemies that try to face hug your behemoth and mess your aiming. Now coming to the tier 3 category, number 3 on my list is the Smuta. This weapon was the absolute best setup when it first got released. However, over the course of months it has received two nerfs, one of them being significant. But despite that, in my opinion it's still in top 3 with its immense firepower. Some of its best advantages are its curving mechanics, high DPS, fast titan meter charge rate and effect accumulation speed. The disadvantage is the long reload once the clip is emptied. Number 2 on my list is Hammer. This heavy blast shotgun provides an astounding burst of firepower with quick unload and decent reload time compared to other shotguns. That's why it also possesses a high sustained DPS as well. Due to its spread it's best used at ranges below 150 meters but you can enhance its accuracy with the sharpshooter skill. Number 1, the absolute best setup right now for the behemoth is Puncher. It is a very similar weapon to Hammer regarding damage output, unload reload time and accuracy. In terms of damage output, Hammer is actually slightly better than Puncher, but what makes this stronger than its counterpart is the mothership accumulation speed and the lockdown we can say. But the former one is the main aspect that makes this setup really good. You need less than 1.5 clips of full shot to accumulate a maxed mothership with the Puncher Behemoth. You can accumulate lots of Aegis shields quickly if you use support chip or damage enemies very often if you use attack chip. Last honorable mention in this tier category would be the new weapon DK. It's a relatively new weapon and it still needs some time to emerge into the meta. From as much as I have tried and I can already tell it's powerful enough but time will tell if it's going to be in top 3. It has a short unload and a very quick reload time. Accuracy is very high across the whole 600 meter range. Sustained DPS is also really appealing for mid range weapons such that you can even use it in brawling ranges successfully. 
The bad side of this weapon is the slow effect and mothership accumulation rate. Alright guys, that would wrap up my top picks for Behemoth. I must say that 4 heavy weapons of any type will be good on this beast. Now coming to the giveaway rules, they are simple like always. Like this video, subscribe to the channel and turn on notification bell firstly. Then go to the comments section and write down your platform, your in-game ID and which setup you are planning to run on your behemoth if you win this giveaway. Make sure to write these 3 things to be eligible for winning. Write your comment once because spam comments will be filtered out. Those that enter their ID with multiple YouTube accounts will get permanently banned from all approved WR giveaways. Giveaway lasts around 2 weeks. Winners are chosen randomly and announced around the end of this month in the community section of this channel, so stay tuned. Alright, with everything out of the way, I hope you enjoyed the video and I wish you the best of luck in winning this giveaway. For now, take care and I'll see you next time.